Hello and welcome. This is Sahara playing West of Loathing. Yay! All right, so let us see what else I think I had picked up. Um. Oh, yep, and this map. I thought I had picked up um a different. A new. Oh, I did the Cochran Ranch. Okay. Um, but let me see if I got everything that I needed. Hi there, drunken boy. Oops. I seriously doubt that it's... Okay, let me see if he has anything. Hmm, I'll try this right now. Okay, Alice, we know about Alice. Oh, I never noticed this cactus before. You approach the weird cactus man. Hi, Brett. He smiles at you. Howdy, cactus man. Howdy yourself and the man's bill, Cactus Bill. What happened to you? Well, to be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer and it turned me into a cactus. Doc Alice warned me this would happen, but I didn't listen. Really? Hmm. And that's why they call you Cactus Bill? No, that's just a coincidence. So your name was always Cactus Bill. Oh. Uh, does it hurt? Does what hurt? You know, being a cactus. Oh, <laughs> no, it's actually kind of nice. The natural fermentation processes inside the cactus. Part of me keeps me keep me pretty drunk most of the time. I guess it's a mite born. Yeah, I suppose if you're drunk all the time, it would be born. Yeah, I bet. It wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read. You don't happen to have a newspaper or anything, do you? Well, I just happened to have this newspaper. Given the newspaper you found in the basement of the saloon. Much to Blythe's partner. Now let's see here. What can I do to return the favor? Oh, I know. My shovel. I looked it behind the outhouse of... Or... Or... Holy... Oh, I'll leave mine. It's yours if you go and get it. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Oh, okay. So I gained some XP. Behind the outhouse said the mine got it. Thanks, Bill. Don't mention it. No, if you could just uh, kind of stick that newspaper to my face before you leave. Okay. So, um, but how are you going to turn it? <laughs> okay, so let's go to, um, back to the mine. Come on, I'm trying to get my M key. Over here. So we know we were here. I was wondering why this outhouse is here. This is where Bill said to look. Let's find the outhouse. Hey, he wasn't kidding. Not that this would have been a funny thing not to kid about, I guess. So I got a shovel. Um, provide this option to dig in certain places. And we know there are places to dig. Right? I'm here. I have to go back to some of these places now. Is there a place here to dig? That's debunked. What's this crack? Oh, there's a hole in the wall. You bend down and shine your lantern into the crack in the rock. You can just barely make out a square shape down in there. Well, out of arm's reach. Well, out of arm's reach. Looks like somebody dropped a small metal box into the hole. Though you don't know if there was that was a way to hide it or discard it. If you're truly desperate to find out what's in there, you could try reasoning with the rock. Your primary argument would be a bundle of dynamite. Perhaps you could persuade the hole to widen enough to grab the box. Oh no! I need dynamite! Damn it, I used it! And I can't... Hmm. I used it to kill something. <laughs> well, that wasn't very smart of me, was it? Um... I wasn't going to get any more... I don't have any more TNT. Hmm, shit. Shit! Shit! else here. I need to... You just kind of got to click on everything, I guess. Okay. Well, let's go back to a thousand, because I know there was something that had a... somewhere we could dig. Eek! Eek! Okay. Nothing else here. Oops. 
crack. You got a hurt, mostly scabs. Hmm. You've been poked by so many cactuses that your body has built up an entire extra set of skin capillaries used to deal with the constant tiny puncture wounds. So I got five plus maximum health point. Yay! Cool. That'll work. So here's my shovel. All right. I forgot I had this dusty turnip. Increases your muscle mess mus for the rest of the day. Hmm. Can we ever get rid of this stuff? I wonder. Alright, let's go to the map. Um. Okay, maybe it was here. Oh, nope. He's actually interesting. Can't dig him up. How about the tree? Oh, that. Oh. Dig up the grave. Captain Third Calvary. How do you remember running across him? Let's dig up the grave. Got me. Got, got jump on him. Um, okay, so, 20. Um, action beef up. Cost one, unable. Use it once per fight. Your muscle will increase by two. This will not end your turn. Okay, let's go ahead and beef up. Okay. Go ahead and shoot you then. Um, three or four. Well, it won't let me. Oh, you didn't do that much damage to me. I'll just keep attacking. Boom! Alright, here we go. You're done! I gained 2 XP. Got it. Oh, an L old cavalry saber. Here comes the cavalry. 5 to 6. You got a gold tooth. This was in the ground for a very long time. Then in somebody's mouth for a very short time. And now it's in your backpack. Sweet. So is my what can I do with this gold tooth? Hmm, I don't know. So the old cavalry, is it better five to six than my brass knuckles? Which is oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. We are replacing it. Five to six is better than four to four to five. Is there anything else to dig up here I wasn't aware of? Oh, this is where I found out about them. Nope. Okay. Um, the Fricker Gang. Okay. It's a bear harvest. I don't have origin. Where's done that one? Okay, anything in here I can dig up? Rub a dub a dub! Rub a dub a dub! Did I look in this? Yes, I did. Is there anything else? No. Nope. Looks like we're done. Um. So back to the so to the Cochran Ranch. We haven't been there. We're here to find her rifle, if I remember right. Dang it. Cochran Ranch, established 1891. Here. All the water ran in through this. All the water in this trough is boiled away. Okay. Um, well, that's kind of sad. Susie's ranch house has burned to the ground. No! This is while her people were dead. Families. What's going on in there? How can I hear? when it's burnt. What about this outhouse? The outhouse is the only thing still standing. Is it now? Huh. Ready? Something behind this door is making some awful, pretty awful noises. Go through it. Anything here? Here. Uh, looks like somebody was in the middle of fixing a knife. Well, I'll take it. A varmint skin and knife. Allows you to collect skins from beasts after combat. Oh. This is a nice optimized for separating varmints from their insides. From their hides. 
But if I got something else better, do I want it? Anything else? These pies were not safe. Um, okay. Anything here? Um, what are you? This looks... This thing looks angry. You're not going to make it to that safe without dealing with it. Okay, this couldn't fight you. Got to jump on him. What are you, 15? You're only 15, hmm? Beep up! Alright. And we're going to attack. Attack! Boom! Oh, he threw fire on me. He gave me three damage. You're done, you're done! Bye, cow. Okay, hooray. What did I get? Is that? So what's in the safe? Is this Cochrane's family, is the Cochrane's family gun safe? Okay, you got an item, Susie's rifle. It's an old rifle, but it has obviously been well cared for. There are six little notches carved into the stock. Hmm, so how many people have you killed with it? Or is it for, um, you keeping track of other stuff you were killing with it? Hmm, interesting. Back to uh, the town of Boring. Oh, it's a chunk of wood from the broken hitching post. Grab it. See, I didn't see that one before either. Oh, I guess you could have used this for a weapon. So why would you want to use it for a weapon? Okay, let's go talk to Suzy. Um, how about you over here? Can we talk to you? He's sleeping. Let me talk to you. I don't have enough meat left to bother with it. It looks like they're playing for spiders now. <laughs> okay. How about you? Who, me? Well, heck, I see all kinds of things. For instance, I've been mining these mountains longer in a frog to toad rock skunkin' dance a hornpipe. Hmm. Okay. Pete takes this swig of his whiskey. Pete notices the shiny rock you're carrying and his wild eyes light up. Out there is his light shine is the right shiny rock you got, stranger. I'll give you seven meat for the for that rock. Mm, no. He shrugs. Suit yourself. Pete squinks and points at the unrefined meat or you're carrying. You know, you seem like someone got much use for unrefined ore, stranger. I'll buy it off of you for 73 meat. Sure, I'll give you that. Give him the nugget. He, nugget. he chuckles and hands you some meat. He gains, um, pleasure doing business with you. All right. Hmm. Broken board. Okay, Susie girl, here we are. Oh, wait a minute. I got some mugs I think I can turn in. Um, I found these mugs. You hand in the recovered mugs and collect your bounty. Cool, thanks. So let's go downstairs. How come I can't do anything with this music man? Hmm. Was there anything to dig down here? No, this is where the goblin was at. I guess we're fine. Alright, let's talk to Susie. You find my rifle yet, rifle, yet stranger. Yeah, here it is. Sizzy's eyes well up with tears as her hand, as you hand her the rifle, and she roughly scrubs her sleeve across her face before any of them spill over. Thanks, stranger. I didn't catch your name. I'm Lurga. Thanks, Lurga. Can't rightly say what this means to me. She looks at the rifle for a long moment, then looks back up at you. She sighs. Well, that's enough wallowing in misery. Time for me to hit the road. If you want me to tag along when you head west, you just say the word. Hmm, that's a good idea. Thanks, Susie. I know there was a place here that I could... Oh! Shovel it. Shovel it. Okay, cool, I'm shoveling manure. Is that one of the reasons for it? Oh, I, yeah, mm-hmm. Okay. 
Oh, it's nasty work for somebody's got to do it. I gained one XP. Well, that was worth it then, wasn't it? Come on. There it is. Loose, some loose dirt. Hmm, somebody buried a bug here. Cool, I can get another 25 or what was it? I can't remember how much it was. Do you have anything here more for me to do? I don't think you did. You've already pursued all of them. I don't think there's anything here. I have anything I can trade with you. I think I already did it. Um. No. All right. Let's. Yep. Turn in that mug. Oh, I found this mug. Oh, it's only 25 me. I was thinking more than that. Anyway. Okay. Cool. Well, you already plumbed at the depths of this bit tune in your own depravity. You should be ashamed of yourself. <clears throat> yeah, I guess I am. Okay, I think I'm done here. Let's go on over to buy my horse. I've got 2,078 meat. Okay. Yeah, can I, you find, behold a pale horse. Yeah, I think I already petted them before. Hmm. All right, afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? Can you sell me a horse? Sure thing. I should warn you, the horses get mighty attached to their riders. Once you bought one, you won't be able to change your mind later. Which one are you interested in? The basic model, the snip, the shifty looking dark one, the spooky pale one, or the crazy eyes? Hmm. I imagine there's going to be issues with every one of these, but the basic model. I'm gonna go with the spooky pale one. Sure. Good choice. That's a good horse if you like that sort of thing. I'll sell her for 1,000 meat. What sort of thing? You know, spooky stuff. Spooky stuff? I don't want to get into particulars. Let's just say she sets a certain tone. Oh, mysterious. Sure, I'll take that. Thanks, here's the keys. Ride safe. Give her a name. Um, let's go ahead and call her Sydney. No, um, we'll, go, we'll call her Cleo. That's the name of my cat, Cleo. Cleo is, I call her my vampire cat. So yeah, that fits her, Cleo. All right, are you sure you want to name your cat Cleo? Yeah, I do. All right then, Cleo the horse. It's a, <laughs> name her cat. Ah. All right, then Cleo the horse, it's got a nice ring to it. All right, got an item. Southeast map, hmm. Thanks. Okay. So I got a map. Follow map to dirt water. Once you leave Boring Springs, you won't be able to come back. Any unfinished businesses you've got will forever remain unfinished. Are you sure you're ready to leave? Yeah, I am. I think that this is kind of like a tutorial, I believe. Alrighty then, you're probably coerced and ready to start your new life in the West. All you need now is a partner, somebody to share the trail with, somebody you can rely on for emotional and combat support. Who will you take? Um, take Crazy Pete? Nah, there's just something about him I don't like. Doc Alice? She would be interesting since she's a doc. Uh, or Susie Cochran? Hmm. Go it alone, not recommended. No, I'm probably because you're going to end up with going against people you need help. Um, hmm. Yeah, Crazy Pete isn't really. Let's go with Doc Alice. You knock on Alice's door and tell her it's time to go. It's the trail! You consult the southwest. You, can, <laughs> you consult the southeast west map the Hoster gave you. It only lists two things the town of Dirtwater and the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company's westernmost camp. Discovered a new map location. So, we can only go to one? Hmm. Head for dirt water. Day one, the first day of the rest of your life. Hmm. Coming along with the background music. This hack gives me hay fever and I hate it. Okay. 
The room says, Science of Moon Inquire within. Stage code, C.T. Nelson coach. Why do horses have so many legs? Can we talk to you? No. This, is ha this hat doesn't keep the sun out of my eyes, hardly at all. Cleo whinnies as you approach. Comer Maine. She neighs with whispery gratitude. Leave her alone. Cool, okay. Um, keep coming and going a while, guy. Hello? Where was that going again? Yeah, let's go talk to our um, drunken nurse over here, doctor. It's your partner. If you're going to look into this necromancer business, I figure we ought to start with the local cemeteries. Makes sense. Do you know where they are? Yeah, I did some research into the territory cemeteries a while back. Territory cemeteries? Territory cemeteries, territory cemeteries. To see if there was a pattern, you okay? Huh, sorry. Anyway, there's one not far from here. We discovered a new location, the, the Dave Yard. What do you mean, what do you think we should do next? Am I forgetting about anything? What should we do next? Well, if you're looking to find out the lay of the land, I'd guess a railroad crew would be able to give you a fairly literal interpretation. Makes sense. Any other ideas? Alice says you should do, see the bartender about writing in that room in dirt water. It'd be nice to have a base of operations. Sha, yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. I was getting ready to go there. Let's, let's, let's look around here. There's a weird ghostly carriage here. Get in? Hmm. Go to the gun manor. Oh. So it's it's one of the DLCs. We'll leave it now. We'll leave it for now. So we got a dirt water mercantile mercantile. We have dirt uh post office post? Yeah. Dirt water post office sponsored by LT. &T. Um, what are you doing here, girl? Aren't you getting run over? This little girl is selling flowers. Cost 50 meat. Sure, I'll buy some. Um, that's not where I wanted to go. Yeah, right here. I was... She disappeared. Did I get my flowers? Um, I thought I gave her 50 meat for the flowers. What happened to her? Well, there you are. Okay, come on, come on. Okay, buy some flowers. You sell, um, you got an item, sweet smelling flowers. Hmm, these flowers smell really good. This item goes in your offhand. 15% stench resistance. That one. Okay, so, um, goes in my offhand. Sweet smell, oh, here it is, okay. So I didn't know we could have two hands. So I have a cavalry saber in one, a deputy, um, how do we know when is, which is which? So I didn't get up, I didn't give up my, okay, okay, I get it now. I was confused about that. Alright, so we have a jail down here. Anything else? The kitchen post. Nope, okay. Lost a bacon lot. Huh. I heard in England the horses are backwards. <laughs> no. Uh, lot available. Hmm, so we can buy lots? Interesting. What's up with horse knees? Lot available. Not a lot available. So I'll decide there's something else. There's nothing past here. Oh, okay. Rolling, 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 rolling along. Um, just going to jail first. Howdy, are you the sheriff here? No, we don't currently have a sheriff. Hmm, offer to be a sheriff. I could be the sheriff, maybe. Um, do you know do you have law enforcement experience? Not really. Have you been to sheriff school? Nope. Do you have an existing relationship with Dirtwater's local government? Are you familiar with all the local ordinances? Do you even live here? Uh, no. Then what, may I ask, incarnation makes you think he'd be qualified to be the sheriff? I just assumed, you just assumed, that you could mosey into town and become sheriff on your first day? 
Well, when you put it that way, she snorts. If I had five me for every wide-eyed, protagonist-looking kid who wanders in here thinking they're the most important tenderfoot to ever strap on iron, I wouldn't need the dead-end crickin' job. I would need this dead-end clerkin' job. I'm sorry. It's okay. Like I said, it happens all the time. Well, need any help until you find a new sheriff? Sure. If you're, on, if you're any good with the gun, there's always somebody in need of some justice. Mon and posters are back there. Cells are over yonder. She points behind her and off to the right, re respect respectfully. An empty cell. Oops, come on. An empty cell. Well, wow, you got a lot of empty cells for no name. This empty cell is all ghostly. Huh. Okay, interesting. You got a hell of a lot of cells. Let's look at the posters. It's a wanted poster. No, wait, you misread it. It's a wa wasted poster. Close enough. <laughs> uh, the poster reads wasted. The stripper hat gang for grand theft paint and cases hat vandalism. Lasting in the vicinity of Cavern Canyon. 1,000 meat reward. Ooh, that's good. Dirty rotten paint thieves and low down no fashion sense hat vandals. Despicable. Want to go after them? Sure, I'll go after him. He discovered a new map location. Got it. This other one. It's a wanted poster. Oh, a wanted poster, if accuracy is, in, is important. Uh, the house in the desert gang for a mortgage, non-payment, squatting, and general public nuisance. Also for murdering two collection agents. Okay. Last seen in the house in the desert. 500 meat reward. Hmm. You wonder if the house is named after them or if they're named after the house. In any case, at least their location is un un unambiguous. Want to go after them? Sure. Okay. Cool. So I got a couple of side quests here. I don't already buy some flowers from you. Do you got some new ones? Thanks again, mister. Nope. Okay, so Dirt Water Post Office, sponsored by LTNT. Take a look inside. Oh, what's this? One of those newfangled telegraph machines. Hmm. What's these? Big cabinet of locked post office boxes. Hey. Okay. Who are you, sir? Hi, I'm Lurk of the Shark. Any mail for me? Hmm. Nope. Darn. Thanks anyway. Well, I guess I didn't give a boarding address. But how do I, I. What if I want to send somebody a telegraph? Hmm. Okay. Well, I got a mercantile here. Let's one here. Hello there. Welcome to Dirtwater Mercantile. Let me look at the shelves. Sundry provisions. Miscellaneous provender. Did I get any of these here? Back. Oh, okay. Read this to learn a new cow punching skill. Buy for 500. What do I have? Um, this is a single volume from a sprawling encyclopedia of cow punching knowledge. Yeah, I'll buy it. Use to discover a new map location if you can find a high vantage point. Okay, so. Advanced. Do we need the brass knuckles? We can sell it. So get rid of, yeah, oh, oh yeah, look who had this, sell that for 30, sell the broken board for 30, well maybe I'll need it? Hmm. I don't know. Um, disposable binoculars, used to discover a new map, okay, no, we don't, um, dynamite, oh, damage in enemy combat. Plum pudding, increases your muscle, they call this plum pudding because it's made of goat milk, extracted from Plump udders. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Shovel? I already have a shovel. I don't need another one. Boy, there are a thousand meat. Wow. Uh, soda crackers. These are crackers made with highly caffeinated cola instead of water. They sound revolting. Hmm. I wonder if that's something my, uh, Tooth powder. 
Oh, increases your speed for by one for the rest of the day. This is a less convenient procurer to non-paste for use with less convenient procurers to toothbrushes. Hmm. Vitamin blood sausages. This is a can of stubby sausages made mostly of blood, any syrup that also is made of blood. Increases your muscle for three for the rest of the day. Hmm. Might be good to have if you're going to get some icky, nasty people. Yeah, I think I'm going to hold on to this stuff because I'm just not sure um, what I'm going to need. Do I need the couplings? Hmm, maybe I will. I don't know. Various groceries. Oh, and, oh dear. I suppose it's the same. Oh, assorted. Can, 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 Commencedables? Hmm. Well, I've checked out the town except for. Oh, yeah, except for Jewel Saloon. Okay. In which, which places is let's go from one end to the other. Well, they're sleeping? These guys must have fallen asleep during a brawl. Hmm, interesting. Guest rooms. There's nothing of interest to you upstairs, probably because I haven't paid for a room. It's your partner. Hey, let's talk. I see you found the local watering hole. Yeah, it's decent. Let me know if you find a whiskey in hole, though. <laughs> um. Okay. Sure. Let's talk to the patrons here. They're engrossed in conversation. Leave them be. Okay. How about you? Scat gal doesn't look like she's in the mood to talk. No, oh no, not another spittoon! This is a spittoon, which is sort of, which is a sort of brass bucket that people spit into instead of spitting on the floor. Because not spitting at all is not an option in this society, I guess. That's because they chew tobacco. I say this despite knowing that you're pretty intimately familiar with spittoons already, sicko. Hmm, let's go and inspect it. Look, the Jewel Saloon is pretty nice as saloons go. Actual glass in the windows, more than two kinds of drinks. A poker room instead of a cockfighting pit. But this spittoon is still a spittoon. The rancid tobacco spit inside it isn't fancy rancid tobacco spit. No, I'm sure it's not. Go ahead and inspect it anyway. All right, here we go again. All right, fine. You are now puckered down next to a brass spilt bucket, bucket, which has probably never been cleaned or emptied because you're near the desert and the ambient humidity around here is pretty low, low enough that the spit every, low enough that the spit evaporates nearly as quickly as it accumulates. So that's good, right? No, that's bad, because it's only the water part of spit that evaporates. This brass bucket is half full of the rest of the spit, the toxins and filth that don't evaporate. Several years, several years worth, distilled and concentrated until it's the consistency of molasses. Oh, I like molasses. People aren't allowed to flick cigarette butts into the spittoon anymore because they bounce out. Well, that's not too good. Well, I'm going to search it anyway. You're about to put your hand into a bucket of something the color of... the color and viscosity of maple syrup, except instead of syrup, it's flavored with the inside of the mouths of people who chewed cigars instead of smoking them and have never brushed their teeth. Yeah, I know, I get it. Glorp. It feels like putting your hand into a bucket of lukewarm tapioca pudding, except instead of tapioca, it's basically poison. It smells like someone ran over a skunk, waited a week, and then set it on fire. It feels like your hand is dissolving. Yeah, I get it. I'm going to keep searching. You found something. You found a tacky, filth-covered porcelain cow figurine, a useless, disgusting thing that will make a great heirloom for your children, assuming you're still able to have any and you hate them. <laughs> you got a filthy porcelain cow. Um, you have to hold this little porcelain cow upside down because it's filled with tobacco spit, and you don't want it to spill on the little hole, and you don't want it to spit to spill out of the little hole in the bottom of it. This item goes in your offhand. Hmm. So I have three melee attack damage and spell damage. Hooray! Okay, so. So this would go in my offhand, which you would replace what? 
my deputy pistol? <laughs> I don't know which one is my offhand. Oh, uh, I'm just taking these out to see. Doesn't say. Hmm. But increases where I can sell it. Melee attack damage is pretty darn good. Which means that I have to do it, I have to get rid of my deputy pistol. Hmm. I still don't have any pants or no boots, so I'm still pretty naked. What about a shirt? I don't do spells. I suppose that would be a bean slinger, huh? Try it, it doesn't hurt. Uh, so it's gonna go in my deputy hand, right? Oh, it just found a different s slot for it. Well, that's interesting. It didn't, I didn't lose anything. Okay, so, but do I have to? Oh, I do. I need to read this. There's a chapter about adapting the stampeding behaviors of dynamic, dynam, demonic cattle for human use gives Bull Stomp a combat skill that does a small amount of damage to all of your enemies. There is a really interesting article about punching people so hard that they stop moving. Gives Haymaker a combat skill that deals damage and really stuns an enemy. There's also a chapter about situational awareness and its importance when trying to survive in a world full of demon cows. Gives Ever Vigilant a perk that increases your maximum action points by two. Can only choose one? Hmm. Um. Learn Haymaker. There's a really interesting art about punching people so hard that they stop moving. This bull stump becomes a stump that gives a small amount of damage to all of your enemies. So if you have multiple enemies, it will give a damage to all of them. Well, let's do that one. You read up on something. You get much better. You got both. Unfortunately, you accidentally stomped the book in the dust while practicing. Oh, damn it. I figured that's what would happen. Shit. Shit and, sh shit and Shinola. Oh, this is the poker room. Did I want here? I was just doing some investing. Oh, it does say poker room. I was clicking on this stuff up here. Well, um, no, no, no. What are, uh, what are you doing here, fella? The old man stares off into the distance, listening to the piano. Try to talk to him. He doesn't react to you at all. Hmm. How about you? The piano player is not very good at this job. No, I d didn't sound like it to me either. Slop? The man points to the sign on the counter. Slop, buy. Sure, I'll buy some slop. You got an item. Play to slop. This is a plate of the slop they serve at the Jewel and Dirt Water. They should really hire better kitchen staff before some competing restaurant moves in and eats their lunch. Increases your maximum health point for, by five for the rest of the day. Hmm, okay. That's the kitchen. You guys are, these guys are having a spirited discussion about guns and which of theirs is nicer. Okay, um, can we sit here? No. There's a kitchen. There's a sign that says, see bartender for darts. Oh, okay. Are you guys, everyone's got their guns. Hey, come, they're, they're, hey, how come they're allowed to drink without hats on? <laughs> oh, and there's a stage here too. Okay. Well, let's go to the bartender. Hey, bartender. Well, howdy there. Always nice to see a new face in town. Welcome to the Jewel Saloon. Hi, thanks. I'm Lurga. Glad to know you, Lurga. Folks around here just call me Lloyd. What can I do for you? Well, it's nice to meet you, Lloyd. I saw the sign out front advertising a room. That's right. Finest room in the house and plenty of room for your partner, too. You interested? Oh, how much does it cost? 
Well, that's where you're in luck. The previous tenant was a banker fella, and he paid a month in advance right before getting himself killed by bandits. You seem like a decent sort, so the room's yours. If you want it, gent. If you want it, gra gratis. If you want it, gratis. Well, you know, actually, I would think they would just keep the money and <laughs> we rent it out. But anyway, yeah, great. Sounds good. Okay. So, I got... No, I thought I would get something, but I didn't. Okay. Um... <coughs> yeah, need any help with anything? Well, if you're handy with mechanical type stuff, something's gone wrong with the, with our player piano. With our player piano player. <laughs> I thought I, the music sounded a little off. Yeah, it's not supposed to sound like that. Well, I'll see what I can do. Thanks. I poked around in him myself, but I lost the key. This has suddenly taken a strange turn. <laughs> okay, but I lost the key. Oh, that's just too funny. Because <laughs> it's dealing with music. Oh, my God. Uh, try to fix him. He lifted the player, piano player's coat to reveal the hatch on his back that leads to his inner his lock, but it's not a very good lock. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't have a needle. What happened to my needle? Am I going to remember to do any of this stuff? Because um, we don't have a quest list. I want a quest list. All right. I tried. Um, I'll have a shot of bourbon. You get an item. Dirt water bourbon. Increases your maximum health by five for the rest of the day. I'll give that to my friend. Anything else? <clears throat> Um, who's that old man by the piano? Oh, that's old Ellsbury. Tragic fella, he is. He was a writer and a poet. Came out west to sell his stories, but nobody were buying. Two weirdest stories, fantastically like. Fantastical like. Ellsbury. Hmm. Too bad, I love that stuff. Well, I don't matter much now anyhow. He had to get normal work to make ends meet. Did pass and will as a prospector until one day he lost his mind and he mo he lost his mind and he mind. He what? You know what I mean. He saw something, something that made him stop telling his weird tales, made him stop talking near completely. Come to that, he just stands there by the piano nowadays. It seems to calm him down, and as long as he doesn't make any trouble, I don't mind him too much. I feel a little sorry for him, to be honest. Well, that's a poor guy. Um, can I get some darts? Hmm. The sign on the darper said to see you for darts. Oh, sorry, all the darts got broken months ago. Well, that's kind of disappointing. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later, Lloyd. Here. I got you a present. Um. How do I give her whiskey, I wonder? Uh, that's it. No, um. Oh. Um, yeah, it's decent. Have you, uh, I see you found the one. Okay, uh, am I forgetting about anything? Alice says you told the bartender and the jewels. And, oh, you tried it. So she's my play. She's my quest list. Um, thanks for the reminder. She's my quest list. But how do I give... So what if I want to give this to somebody? Like, can I give it to my partner? Um. Hmm. I don't see where I can give stuff to my partner. Because, where do I have to be out in the field during combat, maybe? I don't know. Interesting. Well, let's take a little gander here. Let's go into the poker room. Um, but I'm gonna do that next episode. So if you're enjoying, well, here, yeah, actually, let's talk to him. That's why he looks like a mic. Oh no, he's got a beard. Poor old Ellsbury. Okay, he won't talk. Okay, anyway, Ellsbury. I think he's in reference to some kind of famous writer from eons ago. Anyway, <laughs> if you're enjoying, click like, leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Sahara out.